So Christmas just passed and our daughter-in-law, Michelle, showed up with the most decadent keto dessert. We thought as the parents, we were gonna bless her on Christmas and yet she knocked our socks off on Christmas. These are Michelle's chocolate truffles. False. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we have a new recipe with balls in it, you'll be alerted to it. So like I said, recently our daughter-in-law Michelle came over for Christmas, and I love the fact that she wanted to bring something that we could eat, and she showed up with chocolate truffles. Which is so sweet. I mean, if it tasted like mud, we were going to be like, this is such a sweet thing for you to do. It was just really, really thoughtful, but it didn't taste like mud. It tasted like the best mouthful of Christmas. Oh my gosh. These things are so good. And they're not just a Christmas cookie. You can eat these any time of the year. If you're going to a party, if you're having a party, anything you want, it's great because they're little bite-sized pieces. So it's easy to control yourself, sort of, uh, but really good. And then when I figured out the macros, I was like, oh my gosh, I should have eaten more on Christmas. Yeah, because it was completely okay. It tasted too good to be okay. That's what we thought, but they're really good, yeah, macros wise. Now she just kind of threw this together. She was trying to duplicate a recipe she used to make using like Oreo cookies, but obviously we can't eat Oreos on keto. So she ended up using high key cookies. And I'm gonna tell you, she knocked it out of the park and this, is such an easy recipe to make. How easy is it? It is really so easy that even Rachel can make it. So our daughter, who's a way better cook than me, has come up with a recipe that even her stinky cooking mother-in-law can make. Yeah, now these are calling my name, so I'm gonna push these off to the side. Let's go ahead and show you what you're gonna need because you only need a few ingredients. First thing you're going to need is some high key cookies. Now you could use other cookies, yeah. um, but we're gonna use three bags of high key cookies and she used the mint chocolate. You could use any flavor. You could even use the, the you know, little like high key wannabes that you get at Aldi. But I'm gonna tell you the mint chocolate, it's where it's at. It's so good. And mint chocolate is not something that I reach for first. That's something Joe reaches for first. But when we tasted these, I was like, I want the chocolate mint. Okay, so we need three bags of those. We're going to need some cream cheese. We're gonna use a half a block of cream cheese, four ounces. We need some keto chocolate chips and you can use whatever kind you want. Uh, I'm gonna recommend either using Lily's or Chalk Zero or we actually discovered these at Walmart. They were cheapest. Very clean ingredients. It's from a company called Bake Believe and I love this, very, very clean ingredients, but you could use something like the Lily's white chocolate, you could use the butterscotch ones from Chalk Zero, any kind of keto chocolate chip you want. You can even use regular like squares because we're gonna melt them down. We're gonna need a little bit of butter, we're only gonna use about a half a tablespoon, and then we're gonna need some cocoa powder. For dusting. You ready to get into this? Yes. Let's put all this stuff to the side and get going. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna need is a food processor. You could even use a blender if you want. Uh, food processor for me is just gonna be easy. Make sure it's dry inside. Now, if there is a couple drops of water and you get a little bit of mush, that's okay. You're gonna just scrape it out with a spatula. So in our food processor, we are going to dump all three bags of cookies. I like where this is going. They smell super minty. I, I, these are my favorite high key cookies. They're very, very crunchy, like famous Amos. If you've ever had those before, that's how high key cookies are. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and close this up. And we're gonna turn it on.
Okay, gotta go a little bit more. What we're looking to do is basically chop it all up and get it into almost like a powder. Okay, that looks pretty good. And these, you can tell they're, they're, it's almost like a cake batter at this point. So we're gonna push this off to the side. We'll go ahead and grab our dough. And even though you can see that this was dry, like the inside of the container, because of the ingredients inside of the cookies, it does get a little mushy, but that's okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bowl, and in that bowl, we're gonna put a half a brick of cream cheese, so four ounces. Now, when we talked to her, she said that she actually let it go to room temperature, but I found it works better if you take it right out of the refrigerator. It makes it a little bit easier and eliminates the step of having to put it back into the refrigerator to work with it. Thank you. Boop. Now what we're gonna do is without cutting yourself with the food processor blade, which I have done Ooh, several, several times. times. Merry Christmas. We are gonna take our cookie mixture and put it all in with the cream cheese. Now you could actually do this entire step in the food processor uh, by combining it all, but what's the fun in that? We wanna use our hands. I'm gonna get them all. Did I miss any? Okay. Okay, had to take a break. I sliced my finger with my new knives. They're like us. razors. Okay, now what we're gonna do is you're gonna use your hands and you're gonna combine this into a into like one solid mixture. Okay. This feels like moon sand. Now the idea is we wanna get everything incorporated so there's no difference between the cream cheese and the cookie. It smells so minty. How are we doing there? I think it's looking good. Okay, so that looks good. We're gonna take that off to the side. We're gonna grab some kind of cookie sheet or something like that, anything, put some wax paper on there, and we're going to separate this into 18 balls. balls. Okay, now if you really wanna be exact, what you can do is grab a kitchen scale. Uh, I got 18 out of this recipe, having each one be between 15 to 16 grams. So if you wanna do it that way, you can. Look at that, perfect, 16. 16. So if you wanna measure them out and I will roll them into your little truffles. Balls. That's 18, that's pretty good. Okay, here's what we got. We got 18 truffles. Balls. They're truffles. They're balls, clearly they're balls. Okay, we have 18 truffle balls. Balls. Now what you're gonna do is go ahead if you wanna shape them up into like a little bit rounder shapes. Balls. After you're done, you're gonna stick these in the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour so that we can let them set up. Our balls are frozen. <laughs> okay, it's been an hour. So we have our frozen balls. truffles here. Now what we're gonna do is move on to the next step. So we'll go ahead and put these off to the side and then we're gonna take a microwave safe bowl. Now, you don't have to do this in the microwave. It's just easier. You could also use a double boiler. Who wants to do that? In there, we're gonna add about a half a tablespoon of butter, and then we're gonna do about a half a cup of your keto chocolate chips. I have 75 grams. What we're gonna do is go ahead and slowly melt this in a microwave. So put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half, but every 15 to 20 seconds, you wanna stop and give it a little stir until you get a nice, smooth, creamy texture. Okay, so now that everything is melted, we're gonna go ahead and dip all of the truffles into awesome. the chocolate. Now, as you're doing this, if it starts to harden up, just go ahead and stick it back in the microwave for another 15 to 20 seconds. So one at a time, we're gonna put each one in. Do I have to dip these balls in this? Yes, you can use a fork or a spoon to kinda get it all covered. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and take a little bowl with some cocoa powder. We're gonna put it in there to get it coated while it's still wet. And then we're gonna put that on top of another piece of parchment paper. So nice. it's kind of like an assembly line here. Okay. Okay, so I will do one of these and then you can go ahead and dip it in the cocoa powder. All right. So you can like dust it. Yeah.
Now again, if the chocolate starts to harden up, just go ahead and put it back in the microwave for a couple of seconds. Okay, now that we have all of the chocolate truffles dipped in chocolate and then coated with cocoa powder, we're gonna go ahead and stick them back into the refrigerator until you're ready to serve them. Okay, all the chocolate is hardened up. It's time to sample these and I am not gonna complain about that. No, I'm excited about this. And I'm not sharing one. One all to ourselves. You ready? Dink. Dink. Mm. Oh, our son married so well. Oh my gosh. So good. Delicious. That was so good. Mm. Creamy. You got the outside hard chocolate. It's just perfect. And again, you can use any flavor cookie you want. You could probably even do this with something like lollies. Mm -hmm. But the way the high key cookies break down into a crumble, it's just, it gives a decadent inside, just like a truffle. So good. My hands are covered in chocolate. That's okay. not a bad thing. Here's the thing about these. Are you ready to hear the macros? Yes. Because on Christmas day, we were afraid they were so good. We were just eating them, going, you know what? It's Christmas. It's Christmas. There's no sugar in them. They're keto ingredients. Who cares if we go off the rails just a little bit? Are you ready? So this is all going to be dependent on your cream cheese, which chocolate chips you use and all that. But based on the ingredients we use, and that is if you use every drop of melted chocolate, like there's none left in the bowl, which we had some left in the bowl. I ain't going to like miss out on it though. But if this is, if you use it all, each one of these is 80 calories, 7.6 grams of fat. 1.65 grams of protein, six total carbohydrates, total. right? Two grams of dietary fiber and 3.5 sugar alcohols, which is coming in the high key cookies. Yeah. Making each one of these 0.5 net carbs. What? Just what? Like we didn't have to be afraid of these at all. No. Now again, and that's, you know, three and a half grams of sugar alcohol. So if you're like us and you don't generally deduct fiber, but you are okay not involving the sugar alcohols, that is still like two and a half carbs per ball. But even at six. I was happy with six the total, total carbs. carbs. Like I'm good with that. So I yeah. know if I eat three or four, which I definitely ate more than that on Christmas, mm -hmm. um, I'm good, especially as a treat. Yeah. I absolutely love these. I'm so appreciative that Michelle came up with this Thank recipe. You, They're great. Let us know down in the comments section if you do make these. Also, let us know what flavor high key cookie do you use or do you have a modification? Yeah. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we have balls, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.